Okay, Melinda is, would love to be here, but she's in labour at the moment. <laughs> That's so it's a difficult choice for her, but uh, let's, let's hope it goes well for her. Um, look, I'm delighted to be able to accept this on her behalf. Uh, she's a, an early career researcher uh, doing brilliant work in, in the area of, as you've heard, uh, Alzheimer's disease and its link to obstructive sleep apnea. It's a very exciting time for us in this area because uh, the link has just become clear quite recently. And, and she, and I'm playing a small part of that, are looking to see whether people with obstructive sleep apnea are developing heavy burdens of amyloid in their brains. And uh, we already have pathological evidence indicating that it probably does. The exciting thing here is that although we can't cure Alzheimer's disease, we can cure or at least treat sleep apnea. And so if we can show that there is a link between amyloid burden and sleep apnea, we can treat the sleep apnea and hopefully reduce the incidence of Alzheimer's disease in later life or at least slow down the progress of Alzheimer's disease. And that's very, very exciting. And, and Brain Foundation is helping to make that very exciting work possible. So on, on Belinda's behalf, I thank you very much. <laughs>